knife versus kukri versus tomahawk. And among the three weapons, the Bowie knife is the lightest. It's the one that's really a dedicated um, weapon. Uh, so that means it's the most nimble. The tomahawk is the heaviest one. It's the one that bites the deepest on the hit. Uh, it also means the slowest one. So, and then the kukri is kind of in between. The advantage of the Bowie knife is if he's coming in with that heavy weapon, I can go in and snipe at his hands and get out and then come back in very easily, but I can change direction with a lighter weapon. The um, danger with the uh, tomahawk here is, yeah, I get a good hard hit. It's going to be slower because it's heavier. Also, you have to worry about if I go in a body shot and he wraps. Yeah, okay, yeah, I can pull on this and maybe I'm stabbing in the back with a hook, but is he going to die right away before he can stab me with his knife? Where is bad guy number two? What is he doing? Do you see it? Now, to me, we'll trade over, the kukri is in between. It has a very, usually, you know, the commercial ones have a nice thick spine. It bites and breaks and hits almost as hard as the axe. You can go through winter clothing and break a clavicle with this. And the advantage over tomahawk if they see wraps my arm, I can pull out with this. The disadvantage compared of a kukri compared to a straight blade like the Bowie knife, especially if you've done Philippine martial arts and you're used to a variety of, of thrusts that come from a variety of angles, is you really only thrust effectively with this straight. You can go vertical, you can go horizontal, but you really want to fire that straight. Uh, it's not that a hooking thrust is better than a straight thrust, it's just that you want to take the hooking thrust out of your vocabulary if you're fighting with one of these. So just because you learned a certain technique in Philippine martial arts does not mean it applies to all weapons. Yeah, if I take a, okay, with a stick or a straight sword, you know, diagonal down, diagonal up, horizontals, you know, thrust, fine. Oh, now I pick up this tomahawk, I'll do the same thing. No, not really, there's a problem. For instance, if he comes under me, and I say, my real favorite thing to do is just cut the arm. But if I get the hook in here and I pull, look what happens to his blade. I'm basically pulling it right to my hand. Do you see it? Actually, the same thing with the kukri. We trade over here. He comes in with a cut. And I go, and I normally could block, you know, uh, straight blade to straight blade. But that kukri has that funnel. And if you don't have a guard here, I'm basically funneling his hand, his blade, right into my hand. Do you see it? So there are certain things that are strengths and weaknesses with each weapon. So as you're training now, you know, one guy has a Bowie knife, one guy has a Kukri, one guy has a tomahawk, and you're saying, okay, if he hits me in angle one, how do I deal with it if I have a Kukri and he has a tomahawk? What about if I have a Kukri and he has a Bowie knife? What are the strengths and weaknesses of each weapon? How do you deal with each weapon's attack? That's what we're going to be working on today.